Hey everyone and welcome to my craft room. Um, as you know I'm Julianne Richards and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Um, particularly warm southern Tasmania today. Um, I think we're heading for about 33 degrees and I reckon it's probably in the high 20s already so yeah the world's a bit topsy-turvy at the moment because I think we're actually t uh, warmer than a lot of the mainland states today. You know, just let me oh, yep, check me uh, just check my volume is working and it is so that's great um so thanks for everyone to jo who's joining me today i just got a whole lot of um up, thumbs up and hearts thank you linda that's lovely to come on to first up uh today i'm just going to run through how to put together this little card here um this is my customer bonus card for december um and um when you uh buy from me during december um, I will pop this little card kit into the mail for you so you can um, create this little card for yourself. Um, it's really, really sweet. It actually uses the, sweet, the suit and tie dies, um, which actually will be available to customers from the 5th of January during um, as part of our new January to August um, mini catalogue. So it's something to look forward to. But as I say, if, you, uh, get, uh, if you're a customer in December, you'll get this little uh, pre-cut um, kit ready to put together and you'll be one of the first kids on the block to play with this this uh, this uh, die set. Um, Tanya's asked a question what colour? What a pretty colour. Yeah it is a pretty colour isn't it Ta uh, Tonya? It's actually Flirty Flamingo uh, which goes beautifully with the designer series paper that I've used in that one as well. Um, anyway so yes I'll show you how to put this little one together I thought actually I'd show you a little bit more than just popping it together I'll show you how that some of the components have been prepared just so if you do get the um, the stamps the um, dies at some later stage you'll be able to um, create the whole card rather than just relying on it being a kit so anyway so that's our end result there so let's see what I've got here and what you will get in your kit um, when you, as I say, when you're a customer, is a flirty flamingo card base, which is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters, and again scored it in the centre for our card base. Then you have a whisper white panel, which is an eighth of an inch smaller, and that fits on the inside. So you can stamp that with your sentiment or anything like that. Just leave it blank. It's up to you. So you've got those two things. What you will also have is all the components for the little cardigan that we're creating, creating for our special, um, our special nana or our special friend or our special sister or whoever you think would like this lovely card. So what I'm going to do is pop these pieces of um, cardstock through the, the, the relevant dies and embossing folders and just show you how I created the little pieces from the kit. Okay, so what we have to do first of all is cut at the V of our cardigan in this um, in this cover piece of a flirty flamingo. And so what comes with the dies, there's lots of little bits and bobs that come with the dies. Um, there's some little buttons there which are really nice. So there's this V here and that's the one we're going to use. So what we're going to do first of all, and I don't want, I'll show you the original card again, I don't want the V um, to be really long, da uh, far down. So the V itself is quite long. Let me just pop that against the card. You can see if I have it there, in its original sort of state, the V goes a lot deeper into the card. So I'm actually wanting it a little bit sort of shallower than that. So I'm actually bringing it up a little bit. So it's only a, a sort of a, not a, a really pronounced V. So let's bring in my my emboss and cut machine which is currently available to customers so if you like the look of this one please let me know and it will wobble a little bit so be prepared apologies for that my husband has actually got me a brand new craft table but he's popping it together he's having a week off he tells me and apparently one of his priorities for his week off is to put together my craft table so before too long we could have an unwobbly craft table which would be absolutely splendid anyway so I've got that sort of roughly in the place there so as you see and I'll bring that out so you can see a little bit more I have actually got a fair bit of overlap there at the top 
and I'm hoping that's going to be straight. It's a little bit hard at this angle. So I'm just going to pop that through, very carefully pop that through the cut and emboss. Try not to wobble too much, apologies. And there we have the start, a bit further, the start of our little cardi, just like that. So while I've got this piece with me, I'm going to then pop it through the um, the subtle 3D embossing folder, which I absolutely adore. It's my favourite thing in the whole world. And the folder, the, um, the patterns in the embossing, the little grooves go up and down, but I actually want them to go crossways in my little cardigan. So I'm going to pop it in sideways like that. And I'm going to try and remember the sandwich for this one. I think it's that. I'm going to actually write on them. I'm going to do little labels for them so I know which components I need to put on. But sometimes it's just a matter of trying to remember. Yeah, that feels right. Ooh. Forgive the wobbles again. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Done. So there we are, that's our little cardigan that I've um, embossed there. So I might just move my big embossing machine and cut an emboss away and just hope I'm still roughly central. And there we have the front. So in your kit, if you're a customer in December, you will have this part piece obviously already cut and embossed to sit there on the front. Then what we can do is create the little, um, the little shirt. So this is the designer series paper I'm using in this one. It's actually from the floral art designer series paper, which will also be available for customers from the 5th of January. And it is divine. It is really lovely. It all looks like it's been hand painted. You can see the brush strokes in each of the little, in each of the little flowers there. It's just so nice. And it has some lovely more sort of um, less, what well, less floral patterns on the back just in case you don't want to go the full flower. What I'm going to do is cut another V out of this one and I'm going to bring in my new little baby. Here's my baby. This is my, this is Minnie. Let me introduce everybody to Minnie. This is my mini embossing machine, new. Um, this too will be available to customers early in the new year. But as a demonstrator, I got to buy one early but she is just so cute. We got to use her at my class on Friday and uh, she was lovely. But I am a little bit biased. She's just so cute. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is pop this one through here and because it's nice and narrow, I can use the mini machine. I'm going to pop that through there and I'm going to cut the V again from that one. But I'm also going to cut the cute little, I've lost the stamp, the stamp set. I'm going to also cut the cute little collar because we want our collar to be the same pattern as our little shirt. I'm just popping that through. So cute. So next quarter, if you are a customer, um, I am actually each quarter planning to give away a little mini cut and emboss machine to the customer um, who places an order in the previous three months. So every quarter there'll be a little mini to give away. So if you like the look of that one, then please um, watch for details early in the new year. Okay, so I've got my shirt and I've got my little floral collar as well. So as I say, when you get when if you get the kit as a customer for December, you'll get these already cut. So I might leave little mini in here for a moment and I will cut the pocket and the buttons from the, the set out of this little bit, which was the leftovers, um, the leftovers from our, from our cardigan front. So I'm just going to use that leftovers, no, nothing's wasted. Cut those out of that. really a natural angle for cutting sitting down I've decided standing up is much more ergonomic there we go there we are. so 
so we've got our little um, button buttons so the the die is really good it cuts six buttons at a time so no rushing you know running them through six times to get six buttons you actually get six at a time which is really good wish more die sets did that so we've got our little pocket and our little buttons I'll just flip them off onto my grid paper hopefully don't lose them Okay, Minnie, you can go back now. Okay, so till next time. There we go. Now, okay, so we've got our shirt now. It does make a pretty blouse, doesn't it, um, Margie? Yes, very pretty. Okay, so we can start popping this one together now. So what I'm going to do is glue the collar onto our shirt front and all I'm going to do is pop the glue at the top edge of the collar. So when you get your kit, let's just make sure I'm still the centre there, when you get your kit just pop the glue along the top edge or double sided tape or whatever you feel you're using as your adhesive. So the top of the collar is that straight line there. So you just drop a little bit of glue along the top of those two straight edges or the edges that line up with each other as straight. Okay, and you pop those onto your shirt. Now I haven't bothered, I haven't glued the whole shirt because as you know, when you wear a shirt, the collar sort of flaps around a bit at the bottom. Um, unless you iron it into place. Is Sally watching? Yeah, hey Sally. Obviously haven't ironed this this shirt because the, co the collars are sticking up. Here we go. So that's our little shirt front there. So what we can do now is bring our card in, make sure we don't lose our buttons and our pocket, and we can start putting this together. So we've got our little shirt, which I'm going to pop in first. Just with some glue. There we are. So try and get it as central as you can um, and line it up with the top of the card there. Just like that. And then you can overlay that with your cardigan, just like that. Okay, so we might use glue for that as well. This would be a situation that you, I would suggest you could also use double-sided tape because the nice straight lines there. Just line that up. That is, this piece of cardstock is an eighth of an inch smaller, so just leaves a cute little edge around. There we go. There we are. I've got a bit of a glue smear there. I'm just going to bring my rubber in and just give that a little bit of a rub. Must be on my fingers. Just get a little bit of that glue off. You guys probably can't see it in the camera, but I can. Okay, there we are. So we've got our shirt and our cardigan done. Okay, so now we're going to, what's there next? It doesn't really matter what we do next. We might bring our little pocket in. So in your kit, you will have some of this really cute polka dot, whisper white polka dot laced ribbon. What we're going to do is grab the ribbon and sort of, just sort of pleat it, sort of bunch it up. So they sort of form little waves. You probably only need you know, about an inch worth of waves just to crinkle it up so it looks a bit sort of like somebody's you know shoved the handkerchief in their pocket just give it a bit of a trim 
And then with some, I probably should have put this on first because I need four hands. Grab some double-sided tape or some glue in the back of your pocket. Definitely should have done this first. Just about just under an inch of that and pop it on the back of your pocket, just like that. And then arrange your little pocket handkerchief. Just stick it to the double-sided tape on the back so that when you flip it over, your little pocket handkerchief sort of sticks out over the top. So it looks like it's just sticking out the top of that handkerchief. Then what you can do is grab another piece of double-sided tape and just trap that in place with the tape. You don't have to take, I won't take the backing off that, just leave it as is. If you think you can achieve the same thing with glue, that's fine too, but I'll just leave that piece of double-sided tape there. Or you could have used um, sticky tape or masking tape just to trap it behind because the pocket's actually going to sit up on dimensionals, which we might do now. So our little pocket's going to go just there and you'll have some dimensionals in your kit. I'm just going to use the end bits of this final packet. You'll have some dimensionals in your kit, so just pop them on the back and then position your hanky or your pocket and your hanky uh, where you would like them on your on your little cardigan. There we are. Yep, still got glue on there. Anyway, I think that's better. Okay, so there we have that's done so far. So what we might do now is bring in our little buttons. So yeah, you'll need three buttons for down here on your little cardigan and I find it easiest with these little buttons to just dip dob the glue onto the jack onto the cardigan where you think you want your buttons just tiny bit of glue you could use um, could use glue dots if you have them and if you want to and then grab your picking up tool whichever tool you use for picking things up I use my take your pick tool, tool and just pop your little buttons in place. So as I say, I'm using three, but you can use more. I probably, hopefully, will plan on giving. I've only made a couple of kits up so far. Um, I usually do them at the end of the month. But I'll give you at least the six from, from the little die. So we've just, I've just used three there. So the only thing we really need to do now is um, our pearls. So these are the metallic pearls and I have got them here. Where have I got to? Oh, no. oh gosh, I did get them out so I'd have them here. Oh, here they are. The um, sort of silver metallic pearls, just basically that's all they're called, metallic pearls. And um, I'm going to use five. <clears throat> five pearls just to create the illusion of um, a little pearl necklace here so start with the one that you want in the center because we're going to we'll, and we'll make it symmetrical around the edges of it so just popping them on obviously there might be a little bit of um, overlap with the collar there's three and then I'll just lift our collar a tiny bit and pop the, the, fifth, the fifth, fourth and the fifth ones underneath not just underneath but poking out a little bit and try and give it that sort of natural curl of a of a pearl necklace so that looks like it's sort of draping sort of naturally There. So there's our little pearl necklace as well, just there. 
Okay, so I think the only thing to do now is I will give you a little sentiment box. And as I, with these sets, I don't actually give you the sentiments. You sort of have to find the sentiment that you like um, that fits the, you can either use the sentiment box that I give you or, you know, cut something of your own if you've got your, your favourite at home. I'm going to actually use my favourite, which is the Stitched So Sweetly dies. And there's a cute little sort of floral, a sort of ornate one there. And I'm just going to bring back Minnie. Bring back Minnie. And just a little scrap of Whisper White cardstock. So as you say, when you get your kit, this will all be cut for you. I'm just giving you a little bit of an idea of how it's done. So you can do it yourself if you buy the dies at some stage. So I'll pop mini there and pop the die there and pop it through. Now the mini die cut machine will eventually get a magnetic plate just like the standard sized one um, but we don't have that released as yet but it hopefully won't be too far away. So we've got a little sentiment box there so I'd be stamping that with just something that you like I know with this original one I found a little nice little tiny for you if you can see that there that's just from one of the die, million die sets that I have um, here and I've stamped that in the flirty flamingo ink there but anyway you, you can stamp that one how you like just grab some glue and then pop it on, well I've popped it on that little pocket but you could pop it anywhere just there on the lapel or across the middle but I think I quite like it there so I'll stamp that one shortly then all we have to do is pop our little center white panel there I was going to use that for die cutting I'm glad I didn't pop that inside with some glue and your customer bonus kit for December is complete. There we go. So hopefully you like that one. Hopefully you've enjoyed putting that together when you get your kit or when you um, get the uh, search, the suit and tie dies in January. Um, you'll give that one a bit of a go. I'll just show you some of the other cards I've made with this particular stamp set over the past recent uh, weeks. Um, so we've got our sort of our feminine nana version there. We've got a really nice little uh, sort of a plaid shirt with a suit. That's the sort of the the manly version, I suppose you'd say, or more masculine version. And this quite sophisticated tuxedo, which you can make with it as well, which will be perfect for a, an engagement or a stag do or a, um, a best man proper proposal. Um, I think it would be really good for that. You could sort of print something out with will you be my best man or my groomsman or something in the middle, which is really a great use of that one. But as I say, it's, you know, it's a sort of a masculine set, but it, there are the sort of ways to to feminise it a little bit with this, this cardigan and, and shirt idea. Um, okay, so that's the customer card for this month. Uh, I just want to show everyone who's watching or who watches the replay my um, class by mail for January so thanks for keeping watching um, my class by mail for January is the I'll get rid of these not to confuse matters is the fluttering uh, oh, fluttering and oh, I've forgotten the name of it now somebody remind me I'll grab my thing floating the cards that I've designed you'll actually get four cards um, no, you'll get three cards. You get um, everything you need to make six cards all together. So you get two of each design. Um, everything die cut, um, ready to go. You uh, And I have a couple of options whether you want to buy the stamp set as part of the class or the bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies, or just um, the cards themselves. Uh, you can have that option as well. So if you pop over to my, if you like the look of those, pop over to my business page and have a look at the options there. But as I say, they are the cards for my class by mail in, in January. 
So if you're interested in those, please um, reach out and ask, uh, you know, for details. Okay, oh, I've gone a bit crooked there by the looks of things anyway. So I'll pop those aside. I don't want to confuse matters. There is our class, our uh, customer kit for December. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. Hope you pop, it pops together nice and easy for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, reach out and um, I'm happy to help with any um, card making queries that you may have. But anyway, I better get back to the day job. It's uh, a Monday lunchtime, so I should be uh, back on the computer doing what it is I do to earn a crust fairly soon. So have a great day and uh, I will chat to everyone uh, next time.